Pardon the bad audio on this video. I'm, I forgot that this camera I'm using doesn't have a uh, working audio. I see that once again, an idiot, ignoramus, fucktard creationist, pardon me for being redundant, has made a video with the asinine, idiotic title, Evolution Proven Wrong. This is like saying, rain proven wrong. A natural phenomena observed in nature cannot be wrong any more than it can be right. Evolutionary theory, of course, can be wrong. And in some cases, it is known to be wrong. Evolution itself cannot be wrong. Therefore, it cannot be proven wrong. Anyhow, to continue. All right, I'm going to be making this video about uh, evolution. No, you did not make a video about evolution. You made a video about what you claim to believe is evolution. Two totally different things. Um, I hear a lot of people talking about how evolution is a fact. And that is because evolution is a fact. You hear a lot of people talking about gravity and sunlight and rain and snow for exactly the same reason. How it's, uh, it's supported by nothing but fossils. Huh? Evolution isn't supported by anything. Evolution is a natural phenomena. It doesn't need support by anything. It can't be supported by anything. It's like saying rain is supported by wet. You are not making any sense. I assume you mean evolutionary theory. And so on and so forth. And, and so on and so forth. Love the details there, dude. Um... I disagree with this 100%. And we should give a shit about what you disagree with. Why exactly? I think evolution is full with a lot of presuppositions. That makes no sense. I assume you mean evolutionary theory. You do know the difference between evolution and evolutionary theory, right? A lot of data that needs to be gathered that, that in order for it to be justified, and if not, uh, that these things are found, it's more so a faith or a religion. And I'm going to try to justify that really. Justified? A phenomena observed in nature? You actually believe that has to be justified? Like gravity needs to be justified? Evolution does not require any justification. Evolutionary theory requires no justification either. It is an observed fact that evolutionary theory correctly explains and describes and even predicts evolution and evolutionary behavior. Justified does not apply. Quick. Uh, uh, what's believed is... Believed? We're talking science and scientists? Observe natural phenomena and use the word believe? This shows your intellectual dishonesty and your ignorance and your fucktardness. And you expect people to actually take you seriously when you use the word believe? You use the phrase, what is believed? Or as you said, what's believed? You fucking moron! That the Asteropithecines, they... Evo they, this is where the the homo the uh, the homos came from, uh, the, you know Homo uh, abilius, Homo uh, erectus, Homo uh, archaic. No, 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 and I believe no. You will not find any scientist who said that happened. You will not find any scientist who will agree with you, let alone believe that that is true. You have deliberately and willfully misrepresented what scientists actually state because, as we all know, you're an ignorant, fucked hard creationist moron who cannot attack successfully what scientists actually do state and therefore what scientists actually do defend. You are t attacking, sir, a position no scientist defends because no scientist says they agree with the position that you are presenting. In other words, a typical fucktard moron wanker creationist. Homo Neanderthal and uh, Cro-Magnum man, which would be uh, Homo sapiens or man. 
Um, but the problem with this is, first of all... The problem with that, first of all, is that no scientist says that is true. I'm transitioning to, to, to the, from the osteopithecines to the, homos, uh, to, the, to the homos, that would be a huge, huge, huge amount of transitions that would happen and, and a, 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 a lot of change uh, uh, genetically that we have absolutely no evidence for. We? You use the word we? I assume you mean we as in your creationist but fuck party pals. But scientists have evidence for evolution. They don't have evidence for the sequence that you claim scientists support and defend because the scientists don't support or defend the sequence that you say they do. Scientists have a hell, I mean a bloody hell, of a lot of evidence showing human evolution. As for your we, go back to smoking your weed and um, pass that around with everybody else. But let's just start at the beginning. Now, the belief on how evolution is supposed to work. Believes, the wanker said again. Believes. We are talking scientist and science, and this moron is talking believes. Two totally different things entirely. Through natural selection and, and uh, mutation. Among other mechanisms, all of which are observed in nature. Ugh. 85 degrees diet orange soda drink. Uh, natural selection is supposed to open up the door basically for genetic information because new genetic information is supposed to be required in order to ch have a change within a species. No, no, and no! That is not how evolution works. Therefore, that is not what evolutionary theory says. That is therefore not what scientists say regarding how evolution works. Mutation and other mechanisms shuffle a population's genome upon which mutations occur that natural selection work for, against, or is neutral towards. <sighs> If you keep using the same thing, you're going to keep on getting the same results. So you're going to need new genetic information in order to change, have a change in that species. Okay, idiot, moron, creationist, genius, please step forward. Be the first creationist out there to explain what you mean by the word information when discussing evolution and therefore evolutionary theory. I would very much love to hear what you mean by information. We know that populations have their genomes modified due to such things as alpha wave radiation, frame shifting of genes, gene duplication, uh, insertion of retrovirus in endogenous retrovirus gamete insertions that are then carried on in su subsequent populations, all of which natural selection works on. We see that happen. We can see in all populations that that has happened. We see genes that have been modified. We have seen, we see genes that have been duplicated. We see genes that have been deleted so that only their uh, interons and interoffs exist, but the gene itself has been removed. We see all this happening. This is not something that scientists just guess must have happened. We actually see it has happened is happening. So, step forward. Tell us all what you mean by information. But the problem is with this is that we know now that genetic info, that uh, uh, natural selection reduces genetic information. That is correct, and we have known that for many hundreds of years. Nobody has ever said that natural selection adds, quote, information to a population. That is not how evolution works. Therefore, that is not what evolutionary theory says. Attacking that which no scientist defends is the act of a gutless intellectual coward.